Speaking of uh, spending fab and not knowing what you're getting in the long term, we move on to the Cam Akers, Malcolm Brown injury situation. Akers had a rib injury. Uh, worth noting, he did get the first three rushing attempts in the football game sure and, then, and then got hurt. Uh, Malcolm Brown injured his finger during the game, which thrusted good old Daryl Henderson, all what, five feet, seven inches, 165 pounds dripping wet into a significant role who then turned it into 12 carries, 81 yards and a score uh, out touch uh, Malcolm Brown, 14 to 11 and out gained him 121 to 47 yards. Daryl Henderson currently rostered in less than 45% of leagues. Um, now, I, I don't know <laughs> how bad is the rib injury? Is Akers going to play next week? If he is, I don't want to start any one of the three of them. Uh, I, I don't. What what do like every like Daryl Henderson is like I've looked everywhere for waiver advice, and all of the pros are saying Daryl Henderson is like one of the top two guys to go and pick up right now. And they're suggesting spending obscene amounts of fab on somebody that's like five, seven, a buck sixty. And I'm like, what are we doing here? Last week, he was like non-existent. We he got opportunity because of injury. Like if that rib and finger injury aren't extremely serious, which Malcolm Brown played through, then like Daryl Henderson is going to be nothing in a three headed attack. Every time I listen to us back, I always like try to count the uh yeah uh, ums likes you knows from me and you're gonna get a lot of them today i have no idea what to do with this because just leave them alone let somebody else blow 30 dollars in fab on them and move on with your day for the record daryl henderson is 58208 not 160 oh uh, really i'm just, sorry he just looks smaller it's okay just wanted to clarify that all five feet eight inches of him and I still think this is a pass first offense or at least needs to be because that that's where all the talent is. And from the get go, I wanted nothing to do with this backfield because they said it was going to be the hot hand. And when Robert Woods is basically getting goal line carries because he's not getting targets. Yeah. Or what a bad catch, look. That's rough. Right. But it's like. I don't want to deal with this when people went out and blew all of their fab on on Malcolm Brown last week. I was like, good, good luck with that. And then Akers gets the first three carries and then it's Henderson that gets the follow like the first two carries. And I'm like, Malcolm Brown is even seeing the field right now. Nope. I don't want anything to do with this backfield. If you want to, congratulations. For me, this is a complete stay away. 